Good afternoon, Tai Chi Transitions. Now, we know that there are 108 movements in the Yang style long form, and that would indicate that there are 107 transitions. If we define transitions as being the movement that connects two major movements, okay? Now, as you know, there are 37 major movements in the 108 Yang style form. Uh, and so these are connected up by transitions. Uh, I haven't counted them all. <laughs> in theory, there are 107, but there are places where two major um, movements connect without what we could really call a transition. Anyway, that's beside the point. What is important is that, that we have a look at the transitions and show how we can um, improve them in the sense of we talk about a, th a thread that connects all the movements in the form. So we have 108 movements, but when we get to the reality of the form, in fact, there's only one movement with 108 aspects, or manifestations. The thing is a whole, one whole piece, one whole movement, one whole pulling. So the transitions, I'll show you a couple and uh, explain a little bit in detail uh, how they connect, how we can connect uh, the two major movements via a transition. So let's say, for example, uh, two winds strike the ears. Okay, that's this. And that leads, we turn and we kick. Body's on the side, the heel is here. Heel kick is in this direction, the body turned in this part, but the attention and the uh, intention and the eyes and everything goes this way, towards the opponent. So, transition. So what is happening here? <clears throat> the movement is finished right here. Now the coccyx, we sit back until the coccyx aligns with your heel, back heel. So there's the shift, the weight shift. Turn. This hip rotates. As it rotates, the leg rises and becomes a kick. Okay, now as I explained, or, tried, or be, began to explain, the movements are connected up by, by a, a thread, a silk thread, that connects the whole 108 movements until it becomes one. Now when we practice the form, we want to um, not break this thread by, by using, by practicing, performing abrupt movements. I can't really... <laughs> can't really do it, but I will try. Maybe this side. It's when the movements are staccato, they're broken, okay? They need to be very smooth, the transitions from one to another. You know, the 108 movements is 100 is even. The movements are even. It's all one connected up. So, I'll stick to this side for the moment. Cox is back. Now, as we're shifting the weight, we're beginning the next move. The chest is opening. You see this here? Open wide. The hips are rotating around like this. Not here, like this. Sink. Three correspondences. 
everything's connected, soft, rotating, here, breathe in, out, that's the transition, okay? Everything is connected up. Okay. So. Let's try another transition. Let's try, uh, yeah, single whip to the raising of the hands, raising the hands. Now, it's this here, okay? So, we sit back. This quad sinks. This one rises slightly as we turn here. 45 degrees is enough with the foot. Slides across, rotates. It's like it's on a plane of ball bearings. It rolls like this. Rolls. Sink, turn, shift the weight to this side, sink in the quad here, raise the foot without raising the hip, very soft. So here's an example of a few transitions for you. Another one I would like to show, demonstrate because a lot of people have problems with this is after the um, part of the wild horse's mane or the four corners we are left in a situation where let's say the part of the wild horse's mane the fifth one is here in this direction so now we're going to go to ward off to the left so here we have a very important transition very important sorry but they're all important in a way but some come, come more often than others, and that's really where you need to, to work to make sure you're comfortable in that transition. So because all the energy now is over here, this way. My focus is here, my intent is here. Okay, and now it's gonna switch, it's gonna go over here. So this is a very nice transition. The whole energy must change from the right side to the left. Now this is a question of practice, obviously. It's hard to explain this. The substantial and insubstantial, they change. Here on the other side, same thing. So there are some examples of transitions. The most important thing is, uh, I actually mentioned the breath there, which is something I don't do very often, as you've probably noticed if you follow this channel. Uh, keep it simple. Okay, when you kick, you breathe in and out. Simple. Okay, don't make life complicated unless it's uh, unnecessarily so. Anyway. Okay, so the transitions, uh, are, uh, we need to connect the thread. The breadth should be even. Don't think about it too much and it will take care of itself. The connecting thread has to be there, so we need evenness of movement 
all parts working together, all parts arriving together at the same place. Now this is the only practice that can teach you this, I cannot teach you this, how to make everything come together at the same point, at the same moment, all the force in one place, okay? This has to be practiced, all the transitions should be clear, clean, and smooth, and there you go. So, um, good luck with the transitions, enjoy your practice, I hope you do in any case. See you soon, take care, bye bye.